Hello, everyone, and welcome to an exciting rail series, part one, featuring the California Zephyr. I am your host, as well as train conductor, Tyler Wallinger, and I'm excited to talk, take you on this virtual train tour, not only on board the California Zephyr, but some amazing destinations along the way. Uh, but before we leave out of our virtual train station, if you don't mind sharing with me, folks, in that questions box below where you all are joining from today, I would greatly appreciate it. Just let me know where around the globe you're joining with us today i would greatly appreciate that we've had some passengers earlier uh in our first session today join us from uh, adelaide australia we have people from ontario canada even from london uk joining us so welcome aboard oh great we got some people from placerville california thanks jill san francisco from for lydia we got monterey california from francis de leon marina california wonderful upstate new york thanks dina Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Thanks, Krillian. Uh, Krillian, I hope I pronounced it correctly. <laughs> you got some from, uh, people from Seattle, Washington, right above the Space Needle. Great, Jody. Thanks. Dallas, Texas. Atlanta, Georgia. Arizona. Joining from Chicago. Wonderful. Oahu, Hawaii. Thanks, Ursula. Great. Well, welcome aboard, everyone. As you continue to pour in your responses, what we'll be covering in today's presentation is important things to know about traveling by train are. We'll talk about those upgrades on board the train. We'll talk about what the train experience is like. And we'll even talk a little bit about some fun facts about the California Zephyr. We'll talk about the popular destinations to consider for your next rail vacation, including route uh, destinations that are along the routes of the California Zephyr, as well as routing your vacation from your hometown. But before we, uh, of course, begin on our virtual train tour, I want to talk about, for those of you who've never joined with us before, uh, about our three distinct Yankee Leisure Group brands. To our left here is Amtrak Vacations. Now, Amtrak Vacations is the brand we'll be talking about today, where we travel to destinations all around the United States by train, such as traveling to the national parks like Glacier, Grand Canyon, Yellowstone. We even travel to popular cities such as Seattle, San Francisco, New York City, and so many great others. Uh, but we take care of not only the train accommodations on board, we take care of the sightseeing tours, hotel accommodations, and so much more. More. And then in our middle here is Yankee Holidays. Now, Yankee Holidays is very similar to Amtrak Vacations, just without the rail component, where we do a drive-in vacations to destinations such as the national parks, cities, and many great other spots of interest. And then to our right is Rail Bookers. Now, Rail Bookers is our international brand where we travel to destinations such as Canada and the Canadian Rockies, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and even also, of course, a little closer to home, Alaska by rail. People wanting to visit Denali, Fairbanks, Anchorage, from seeing the national parks to the Northern Lights, we can help out with that. And we also take care of everything from pre or post cruise extensions. So any of you out there are looking to do an ocean or river cruise next year or even in 2023, uh, and you maybe want to extend your ocean river cruise by train, we can help out with that. We also take care of scenic and luxury rail experiences like traveling on the Glacier Express in Switzerland or maybe traveling on board the luxurious Venice Simplon Orient Express. Any bucket list experience, highly would recommend that. Uh, also, we take care of multi-country journey uh, experiences, traveling through not just two, three, but maybe four, five, six different countries by rail. We can help out with that. And there's always something for everyone, either with Amtrak vacations, Yankee holidays, or rail bookers. And all of our rail vacation packages, folks, can be booked as, as early as, as today and as far out as 2023. So why do travelers such as yourselves love Amtrak vacations? Well, number one, we are the rail experts. We're always here to help and provide our knowledge, our expertise knowledge, uh, providing the best routes and the best times, but we want to make sure we ensure you because you're the ones traveling, having an amazing rail vacation by train. We also take care of, of course, those accommodations on board the train, which we do also help with, as I mentioned before. Um, but we can book all of our rail vacation travels there's today and as far as 2023. So again, for those of you who are looking to spend uh, a trip this year, maybe you want to visit your family for the holidays. Thanksgiving and Christmas time is coming up. So if you're celebrating a special holiday or maybe you want to still do a, a vacation this year, 
uh, or maybe you want to give us a Christmas gift. You know, there's always something uh, for Amtrak vacations we can help you out with for this year. Or if you start planning that bucket list experience to Glacier National Park or Grand Canyon National Park, we got you covered there. Uh, but we also offer maximum flexibility. So any destination, any date for any length of time. Simply put it, if the train goes there, so do we. And we offer the largest rail vacation selection to choose from, from luxurious experiences like traveling on the Rocky Mountaineers, Red Rocks to, uh, sorry, Rockies to Red Rocks route, uh, and then continuing onward on board the California Zephyr, heading out even further west. Or maybe you're looking to experience a multi-country journey, traveling on board the train and then heading up into Canada. We can help out with that as well. Or maybe you're looking to extend your ocean or river cruise. Maybe you're getting off a paddle boat steamer off the Mississippi River and you want to continue onward by train. We can help out with that as well. There's always something here we can help out with rail uh, bookers and Amtrak vacations. And all of our vacation experiences, folks, are fully customizable. So you can customize the vacation and plan it the way you want it. Last but not least, uh, there is no rail trip that is too complicated for us. Where it's confusing for most people, it is very simple for us because it goes back to our major point. We are the rail experts. Now, what are your options when it comes to planning an Amtrak vacation trip, right? So you have an Amtrak vacation package you see on our website, uh, but you want to see, hey, what, when it comes to customizing, how can I you know, plan that. Well, number one, we can add on any destination to our package. So maybe let's say you're going to head out west to, you know, uh, you know, visit Denver National, uh, sorry, to Denver <laughs> and visit Rocky Mountains National Park. I apologize. Thinking national parks on the brain. Uh, but you maybe want to head over to Glenwood Springs uh, and, you know, go through the Rocky Mountains. We can help out with that. Or maybe you want to add on extra nights. So maybe you're visiting one of the parks and you want to add on a couple nights extra to your stay. We could certainly do that. Or maybe you want to, you know, you have, you see one of our packages on our website, but you want to flip it around reverse. No problem. We can make it round trip from your hometown. So as I mentioned before, Amtrak does service over 500 plus stations within the United States, and we can make it round trip from your hometown. So if you're from, uh, I don't know, uh, from uh, you know, uh, you know, somewhere in Arizona, like Phoenix, Arizona, or you're maybe from Placerville, California, you know, wherever that may be, we can always find your closest home station for you. We can upgrade your rail tickets from coach to a, a sleeping accommodation or business or first class on some of those uh, you know, shorter distance trains, as well as adding on additional sightseeing tours or upgrading those tours to fully private tours. Now, why is it important for you folks to book now versus later? Well, I did want to talk about our maximum flexibility offer, and that's why it's important for you folks to book now versus later. And our maximum flexibility offer gives you the confidence to make adjustments to your trip based upon current, you know, current news and events. Uh, so if you need to change your travel dates or change the duration of your trip or even the date destination of your vacation. You can do so with us without incurring any change or cancellation fee. Again, this is a great offer for you not only to be able to book with confidence and saying, hey, you know what? I feel at ease. So if I need to adjust anything accordingly, I can do so with our maximum flexibility offer. And that great offer has no change or cancellation fees. However, this offer is only valid between now and January 4th of this year, oh, sorry, sorry, next year, I apologize, January 4th of next year. Uh, so you got to make sure that you want to book it well in advance uh, to take advantage of this great offer. But we also have, of course, some great promotions going on right now. So if you're looking to save some money on your great rail vacation, if you don't mind sharing with me in that questions box below how many of you love to save money, either type a uh, type of response saying, I love to save, or money sign, I would love to know how many out, out there love to save money. Oh, great. We got some people saying, I love to save money, Tyler. Thank you so much. Got some dollar signs. Thanks, Judy. Great. Love a lot of you out there love to save money as much as I do. You want to get the best value for your vacation. So we got to have our promotions page on our website at www.amtrackvacations.com. There you can be able to find all of our current promotions where you can help save on your rail vacation. Or if you want, you can also give us a call at 1-800-268- 7252. There you can be able to speak with one of our live Amtrak vacation consultants who are here at the ready to help plan your next rail vacation and also share with you some great current promotions going on. 
Now, as we're starting to get ready for our virtual train tour, we're leaving out of the virtual train station. I did want to let you guys all know that we, of course, have some packing requirements, uh, or I should say packing, um, you know, add-ons. <laughs> uh, you could be able to bring on two free carry-on bags under 25 pounds per bag. Now, a, a traveler on our earlier webinar asked, is Tyler, can I bring on my purse, or is that considered a carry-on? You are, of course, uh, able to bring on your purse or your handbag or wherever that may be, uh, and that's not considered a, a carry-on bag. Um, you can also bring on two free check bags under 50 pounds per bag. Two free check bags under 50 pounds per bag. And here's a beautiful thing, folks. Luggage can be checked in 45 minutes prior to departure. What airline can offer that? You have to arrive at the airport a couple hours in advance, and then you have to check in your luggage or hope and pray that your luggage is under certain requirements. Again, with Amtrak, they're very you know, easy when it comes to their packing requirements. Now, where can you travel to by train, right? So I know we're gonna be talking about the California Zephyr, which is this route right here from Chicago all the way over through Iowa, Nebraska, going through Colorado, Utah, Nevada, into California. But there's a lot of great routes to travel through onboard Amtrak. Amtrak covers over 46 of the 48 continental states and has over 30 plus routes to choose from. Maybe you're looking for a short distance journey in traveling on Amtrak for the first time, going from Washington, D.C. over to Boston, either on the Northeast Regional or the Acela Express. We can help out with that. Or maybe you're looking for more of an extensive journey, traveling from New York City all the way down to uh, Miami, Florida, you know, traveling on the East Coast. We can help out with that. Or maybe you're looking for a transcontinental experience going over from Washington, D.C. all the way over to uh, San Francisco. We can help out with that as well. There's always something here for everyone here at Amtrak Vacations. All right, so our first destination today is going to be Glenwood Springs Getaway, and this is round trip from Denver. So you start with us here at Denver's Union Station. Uh, Denver Union Station was built back in 1880, uh, and funny enough, a little fun fact actually about Denver, the self, uh, Denver is not only the uh, uh, the Mile High City, but did you know, folks, actually Denver itself uh, was uh, – it didn't used to be a huge city as it once was today. Back in 1858, there was not one single person living in the entire city of Denver. It was not until 30 years later, after the gold rush, uh, is when people were start being able to see this as a booming town. Uh, so, you know, people were able to go out there for the wild, wild west. They're, you know, gunslinging, gambling, you know, all that great stuff. And uh, <laughs> uh, you won't see a lot of that today, but you'll get to be able to see some of the great museums that. Uh, that share this history and heritage that make Denver one of the you know one of the most remarkable cities in the United the entire United States. But inside the Denver Union Station, going back to train stuff here, right? Uh, at Denver's Union Station, there's a hotel inside there. Uh, it's one of the most remarkable Union Stations in the entire United States, uh, and also uh, is the start of your journey on the California Zephyr. Which the California Zephyr itself uh, was originally established by the Western Pacific Railway. Uh, it was the, uh, originally nicknamed the Red Feather Route. And the reason why it was called that, it was because of the fact it went through some of uh, the uh, different uh, river passageways, such as the Colorado River, going through the canyons, and all of those great scenic viewpoints that people look forward to when traveling on board the California Zephyr. Interesting little nickname about the California Zephyr. It was originally named, uh, the reason why they call it the Zephyr, I should say, is because it was uh, named by the um, local Indian tribes as the West Wind. Zephyr means wind. Uh, in, uh, the, uh, I skips the name of the Indian tribe that named it that, but it is uh, quite of a unique name. And you know, then of course arrive into Glenwood Springs. Now, Glenwood Springs is a beautiful little town located in the Colorado Rockies, and one of my favorites, to be exact. Uh, the town itself was originally named Defiance uh, back in 1880, and it was somewhat fitting, given the home of the miners. You got the gamblers, the gunslingers, the brothels, all that you know, all that good jazz. But one of the founders of the of the town, uh, actually the founders' wives, to be exact, uh, was kind of a little 
not so happy with that name, and she missed her old uh, town in um, called Glenwood, uh, Iowa, and therefore they they changed the name from Defiance to Glenwood Springs. Another interesting tip about Glenwood Springs, when you're visiting, uh, you can be able to kind of take a little tour of, uh, of uh, some of the history of Doc Holliday, the famous gambling gunslinger of the Wild Wild West. He was there. He actually moved to that city to be able to get not only uh, away from the authorities, but also um, – he himself actually was trying to find a cure, uh, a cure for tuberculosis uh, for the uh, inside the hot springs that are well known today as the Glenwood Hot Springs. One of the hotels you get to be able to check out and visit with us is the Hotel Colorado. This is a luxurious hotel back in the late 1800s and really is a remarkable hotel that you would find out on, uh, you know, inside the Rockies. Uh, offers some amazing luxury amenities, great historic charm, uh, but also, of course, a great viewpoint when staying with us for your three-night getaway um, in Glenwood Springs. While you're there, make sure you check out the Glenwood Hot Springs. It is the largest mineral hot springs pool in the world. Uh, it manages about two blocks long, as well as has over one million gallons of water. What about that for a vacation, huh? <laughs> But also while you're there, what's also included in our package is our tram and cave tour of Glenwood Springs. Uh, the uh, historic ferry cave tour, which you'll see here, is about a 40-minute guided walking tour that leads you through over a quarter mile lawn underground through some grazing taverns and caverns here. Uh, and then, of course, you can be able to take a look at, as well as a stop over at the exclamation point, uh, which is where you can get some great panorama views of the cave. Another little interesting fact about the fairy cave that you see here, uh, it was one of the first caves in the United States to actually have electrical lighting uh, installed in 1896. So uh, funny enough, actually Glenwood Springs in total was one of the first cities to actually have uh, uh, electrical lighting. So again, that's our Glenwood Springs getaway round trip from Denver. It is four days starting at $469. It includes three nights hotel accommodations, admission to the tram and cave tour, as well as the round trip accommodations on board the California Zephyr in coach class. All right, folks, now we're going to be talking about our rail experience on board the California Zephyr, leaving on its full-length route from Chicago, heading westbound to San Francisco. So you're start your trip with us in Chicago, uh, where you'll stay with us there for two nights. Now, Chicago is the third largest city in the United States and has a home over to estimated 2.7 million residents. Uh, so this really is a uh, hustle and bustle kind of a city. Um, some call it the Windy City or the White City or the Boulder City. It's up to you, but <laughs> this still is a, a marvelous city. Uh, the Chicago, Chicago itself is actually also known as the United States Railroad Capital, right? Because Chicago's Union Station has, uh, has many, many Amtrak trains coming in, such as the Empire Builder, the California Zephyr, the Texas Eagle, uh, the Southwest Chief. So many rail lines go in and out of Chicago. And Chicago's Union Station really is a remarkable structure to behold. Um, definitely check out some of the railroad history in there. You can also check out some of the shops. Uh, but if you're upgrading to a private sleeping accommodation on board, you do also have access to the Metropolitan Lounges, where you can get free snacks and beverages, as well as a private waiting area and a quiet area as well. But while you're exploring Chicago, one of the hotels you'll stay at with us is the Drake Hotel. The Drake Hotel is a four-star luxury property uh, offering some amazing, amazing amenities and benefits, uh, such as, of course, great restaurants, an indoor pool, and also you are located to the, uh, to the um, Magnificent Mile which is where you can find some great attractions and museums and art galleries uh, near that area. Some of those, of you who know this hotel, you know what I'm talking about. This is a really great hotel. And the um, actually members of the royal family have had high tea at its tea room inside the Drake Hotel. So it's one of the hotels that we would recommend and put you at uh, during your stay in Chicago. But while you're also exploring the windy city of Chicago, you can be able to check out Willis Tower. It was originally uh, originally named the Sears Tower, and it's the second 
tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. While you're at the top there, you can be able to get some great views of the, uh, the city of Chicago. And um, funny enough, actually, the, uh, the Willis Tower elevators are among the fastest in the world, operating at a speed as fast as 100, sorry, 1,600 feet per minute. So right, quite, quite uh, impressive, I should I say so myself. After your time exploring the Windy City, you'll then travel on board the California Zephyr on its full-length route, two nights, three days, traveling from Chicago's Union Station, heading out west to, um, uh, to San Francisco. And along the journey, you're going to be traveling over the Mississippi River, right? The vast Mississippi River. Uh, you'll, of course, go over through Iowa and Nebraska, going through the agricultural region of the United States, where we uh, you know, house so many great cornfields. You get to see the cows, all the, you know, the, the, the prairie, I should say, of the United States. And then your next morning, right as you're arriving into Denver, you will then, of course, going to start your green of the Colorado Rockies. You're going to climb the Rocky Mountains heading westbound, going through some amazing canyons such as Glenwood Canyon. You're going to see the Colorado River. Uh, and then, of course, uh, before you know it, you're going to see the rock formations change. And you're going to start seeing from these granite hardcore, you know, canyons to now rock, rock, uh, or red rocks, uh, kind of a style, clay red rock uh, change in formation. Uh, some of these rocks actually are over, you know, a couple million years old, uh, you know, and this, this actually will all be shared to you on board the California Zephyr. The staff do a great job of kind of giving a nice presentation about the journey. And then, of course, you'll be seeing some amazing scenery on the way. Uh, and one of the highlights of this journey is the observation lounge car. Make sure you take some time to check out the observation lounge car. Here you get some three and six degree views of the surrounding scenery, as well as some comfortable seats while you're enjoying taking some pictures or video, or maybe you're looking just to read a quiet book while you're you know, enjoying the scenery. Uh, but you also will notice down below, uh, there is the cafe car where you can be able to purchase snacks or beverages. So if you, if you wanna have a nice cocktail while enjoying those views, you can go right on ahead. And then before late till, of course, you'll be arriving in, in around 11 o'clock in Salt Lake City. Uh, you'll then head out further west going through into Nevada. And then in the morning, you'll arrive on to Reno around 8.30ish or so. And that's when you're going to be start being greeted by the High Sierra Nevadas going through some amazing areas such as the Donner Pass, seeing some, uh, uh, you know, some emerald green colored trees, some pristine rivers, uh, you know, mass tunnels. And then uh, before long, you'll arrive into around Martinez, California. That's where you get your glimpse of the California ocean line, right? The Pacific Ocean. And then you'll arrive into Emeryville, where from there, you'll take a short throughway bus connection from Emeryville into San Francisco. And in San Francisco, folks, this is really one of the most, you know, remarkable cities in my honest opinion, in the world. But fun little fact actually about the Golden Gate Bridge, as you can see here, uh, for those of you who are uh, located in San Francisco, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, which is actually originally supposed to be uh, this orangey kind of gold color, it actually was originally supposed to be plain black. And the San Francisco Bridge itself is actually uh, actually longer than the famous Central Park in New York City. The Golden Gate Bridge uh, is about 20% larger than, uh, than Central Park, which covers about 778 acres, while the Golden uh, Gate Bridge uh, is over, or sorry, Golden Gate Bridge Park, I should say, uh, is uh, over 1,017 acres. So, um, you know, it's quite cool there. Another great reasons to check out San Francisco is also Chinatown. Chinatown is actually the uh, one of the largest uh, Chinatowns in the entire United States and it's the second largest in actually in Asia, which I thought was actually quite interesting when I visited San Francisco long ago. And when you're staying with us in San Francisco, we do have you stay at the Hotel Zephyr. Uh, the Hotel Zephyr is located right nearby uh, Fisherman's Wharf, offering some great views of the coastline, um, as well as also some comfortable uh, accommodations uh, in the rooms. While you're checking out San Francisco, make sure you hop on board the historic cable cars. There's three lines you can check out while visiting uh, San Francisco. The first one is the California line, uh, which you can pick up at California or, and or Market Streets. 
the Powell Mesa line, which picks up at the Powell Street cable car turnaround off of Market Street and in Union Square, or the Powell High line, uh, which this line also picks up at the Powell Street cable car turnaround. I think as a as a little local tip from what I've uh, from what I've uh, you know learned when I was doing the cable cars, make sure you sit on the right side where the Bayview is at on the um, on the uh, Powell Mason or Power Hyde line. So a little helpful tip there. Uh, also, of course, when you're visiting uh, San Francisco, uh, make sure you check out Fisherman's Wharf. That's where you get some great seafood, such as uh, you know. Uh, uh, crab, you can get some great clam chowder, um, so some great places to check out while visiting San Francisco, not just the historical sites, but also great places to eat. So again, that is our California Zephyr Rail experience. It is seven days, starting at $1,249, and includes all that you see here and more with this great rail vacation experience. Again, the highlight of this experience is the train itself, traveling on its full length route from Chicago, two nights on board, over to Emeryville slash San Francisco. All right, our last destination of the day is our America's National Parks, starting from Denver, ending in Salt Lake City. So you get to be able to see five national parks on this great rail vacation experience. So you start with us in Denver, right in the metropolis of this great city in Colorado. Uh, you get to be able to check out the Coors Building. You can be able to see some of the great history museums, such as the Natural History Museum in Denver. Uh, you could do a day trip over to Rocky Mountain National Park, uh, which we do provide as it's included in this package. Um, but while you're staying with us in Denver, we will of course provide you some great hotel accommodations. One of them I recommend is the Warwick Hotel in Denver. Uh, for any of you who lived in Denver or maybe stayed at this hotel, uh, this is a really iconic hotel at that uh, with some amazing views at the rooftop pool. But people don't just come for Denver for the rooftop pool, right? <laughs> they want to visit Rocky Mountains National Park, which Rocky Mountain National Park is really one of the largest uh, national parks in the nation. Uh, uh, the uh, highest also as well. Uh, the highest national park goes over between 7,860 feet above sea level up to 14,259 feet above sea level. And the park is also home to over 60 species of mammals, if you could believe that, uh, from bighorn sheep, which is the uh, the national park emblem, to, uh, to elk, moose, and so many other species. But sometimes you think about Rocky Mountain National Park during the summer season because that's the most busiest time. It's also very beautiful and quaint. There's a lot to do. But sometimes people forget about the winter time. When people travel Rocky Mountain National Park, the winter season is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you can be able to see the forest full of fresh snow. You can be able to sit on that alpine air. You can be able to see the beautiful lakes covered in sheets of richly colored ice. Again, there's snowshoeing, great activity activities to check out even during the winter season. After time exploring Denver and Rocky Mountains National Park, you'll then have on board the California Zephyr train heading over to Moab, where you'll stay with us there for a couple of nights and explore some of the iconic national parks, such as Arches in Canyonlands National Park and, uh, uh, sorry, Arches National Park in Canyonlands National Park. I'm so sorry, folks. Uh, but one of the hotels you stay with us is the Fairfield Inn and Suites in Moab, and it's less than a five minute drive away from Arches National Park. Again, you can see some amazing rock formations right outside your hotel uh, window. Not the pool rod rocks. I mean the actual red rocks right outside there. Really just spectacular hotel to stay at when you're visiting Moab. And you'll get to uh, do one of our backcountry Jeep tours and explore Arches National Park, which Arches National Park is well famous for the arches that you see here. Uh, the longest arch uh, in Arches National Park is over 306 feet long and can be found in the Mile Down Area Trail of Devil's Garden. Now the tallest arch in Arches National Park is on the south side uh, of Double Arch, uh, or south arch of Double Arch I should say. <laughs> it's over 140 feet long and it can be found at the end of the very short trail in Windows area.
And then, of course, you get to be able to explore Canyonlands National Park. Uh, Canyonlands National Park is one of the most remote land uh, remaining at the continental part of the United States. It actually has three districts. Uh, as you can see, that's going to be the Sky Needles District. You also have the uh, Maze District. And oh, sorry, Island Sky District, Needles District, and also uh, the Mass District. I apologize on that. After your time exploring Great Two National Parks, you'll then head on board the California Zephyr train, heading further west over to Salt Lake City. And in Salt Lake City, you'll stay with us there for a pre-night before you head on your journey over to Yellowstone National Park, which one of the hotels you get to stay at with us is the Little America Hotel. And this is a really cranked little four-star property located right in the city center and also very close by to the uh, Salt Lake City International Airport. Then the next day, you'll head over to Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park, the drive itself is about six hours long. So we could either do a self-drive or we could provide you, of course, transportation to pick you up from your uh, nearby your hotel and take you over to the west entrance of Yellowstone National Park. But if I would recommend or make a suggestion, I would do the self-drive. You can head over to um, Grand Tetons National Park as you're heading over to Yellowstone. Now, Yellowstone National Park was established back on March 1st, 1872, and not only was our, it is our nation's first national park, but the world's first national park. Uh, you can find over 300 different uh, um, active glacier, sorry, geysers inside the national park, as well as over 290 waterfalls uh, that are uh, reside inside the park. Yellowstone is also home to over 67 species of mammals, 280 species of birds, 16 species of fish, 16, uh, sorry, six species of reptiles, and over five different species of amphibians. So again, a lot of wildlife can also be found inside the park. One of my favorite hotels and recommendations to stay at when you're visiting Yellowstone is the Lake Yellowstone Hotel. It situates itself right at Lake Yellowstone, which is one of the largest freshwater lakes above 7,000 feet in North America. And the Lake Yellowstone Hotel uh, was uh, one of the first hotels to be built inside the National Park, as well as it was designated as one of the uh, historic landmarks back in 2015. One of my favorite sightseeing tours to recommend when visiting uh, Yellowstone is the, uh, uh, the Circle of Fire tour on the historic uh, Yellow Jammer buses that were built by the White, uh, White Motor Company uh, in the early 1930s. So folks, again, this is our America's National Parks. It is eight days, starting at $2,599. Includes all that you see here and more with this great package. So again, you get to be able to see five national parks in eight days for $2,599. And you get to be able to travel on the beautiful part of the California Zephyr from Denver all the way over to Salt Lake City. Now, what is it like on board the train? That's a great question that I always get from many passengers who've never maybe traveled on a train before. This is their first time. Or maybe they've traveled on trains in other destinations, but not in the United States. Well, first and foremost, they offer priority boarding. Priority boarding to travelers who are going in coach class or upgrading to a private sleeping accommodation. So you do get that priority boarding when traveling on board Amtrak. And the coach accommodations are very comfortable and very spacious, even if you're traveling during the day. Uh, the, co the coach class, as you see here, is comfortable uh, two by two seating configuration. Uh, it does fall down about a 45 degree angle, very similar to if you saw, you'd find any um, business or first class accommodations on a domestic flight. And you see here that there's extra space for luggage. You also have extra leg room to be able to relax and, you know, and just be able to enjoy the journey. Large picturesque window. You also have a, you know, reading lights, air quality control, and also look at this a little fold-out tray table, so you can be able to enjoy a snack or beverage, or even also um, maybe enjoy something like a video on your laptop or iPad. 
But I did want to talk about the private sleeping accommodations on board Amtrak. That's what most passengers are looking forward to, especially when traveling on board the California Zephyr. The first is going to be the dedicated car attendant. You have a dedicated car attendant that's there to help you and to serve you throughout your journey, making sure they're help, there to help with turn down service, helping make sure that your room is kept tidy and clean. They help with bottled water service, coffee service, if you need additional pillows, toiletries, blankets, whatever you need. They want to make sure that your journey starts off without a hitch. You also have the privacy of your own door. So when you have your own private cabin, you have the privacy of your door that locks from the inside. So again, when you are able to shut that door, you're able to remove your mask and just say, ah. unfortunately in coach class, when you are sleeping or even traveling in coach, you are uh, required to wear your mask at all times. You also could have your meals brought to you in your private sleeping accommodation. Uh, you can enjoy them either in the comfort of your uh, of your cabin, or you can either have your meals in the dining car. The uh, dining car is open, and of course, traditional dining service has been brought back uh, since June 23rd of this year. So again, we're very excited to see that they brought back the you know a, a signature railroad French toast, the signature uh, Amtrak steak, and many great other beloved dishes on board Amtrak. Now, the first accommodation I want to talk about on board Amtrak is the roomettes. Now, the roomette is the most economical option. It's two seats facing one another during the day, and it falls into a bunk bed style configuration for two at night. Uh, and also, of course, you have your own private uh, you know, cabin with a nice large picturesque window. You also have uh, power outlets, reading lights, air quality control, and heating, and also a mini closet in your cabin where you can hang up some, uh, some uh, clothes or jackets or pants, whatever you feel. And then the restroom and shower facilities are across the hall uh, in the train car. And this is what it looks like when it's transformed into a, into a bunk bed style configuration for two at night. That lower berth is very comfortable, as you can see here. That lady is just enjoying a nice book before she heads off to bed. The roommate does sleep up to two adults. However, it's a great option as a solo passenger. So if you are looking to travel as a solo option, we do offer solo rates. So again, if you're looking for that information, please give us a call at 1-800-268-7252 for more details on that. You can fit about one, maybe two small suitcases in your room. However, there are luggage racks across the hall where you can store your luggage. And as I mentioned before, the private restroom and shower facilities are in the car. However, not in your cabin. And the room length here is six feet, six inches by six feet, eight inches. And the room width is three feet, six inches. Now the bedroom accommodations, of course, are two times larger in size than the roomette. Uh, it's a couch jet during the day with a nice captain's chair, as well as it transforms to a bunk bed style configuration for two at night. So again, a lot more space to be offered in the bedroom for those who want that additional upgrade. As you see, it's transformed into a bunk bed style configuration for two, and you have your own private ensuite with bathroom and shower included. Um, so again, this is a great option for those who need that additional space or want that additional space, um, and also, of course, the own private ensuite in their cabin. Now, the bedrooms, like I've never seen before, are actually booking more than, uh, than we used to see in the past, which is the roomettes. Does sleep up to two adults, however, is a great option for solo passengers as well. Uh, it fits about one to two small suitcases in your room, and there's a little luggage rack provided inside, as well as you have your own private ensuite. And the room length is seven feet one inches by seven feet six inches, and the room width is six feet six inches by six feet eight inches. Now, the last accommodation I'm going to talk about today is the accessible bedroom. Now, the accessible bedroom is very similar in style as a regular bedroom. However, of course, it's more ADA compliant. Uh, for those who need additional assistance, uh, there's also a call button for the cabin steward there to help out if you need additional assistance. They have an ADA accessible bathroom and shower also included in their room. And they also, of course, um, you know, will be on the lower level of the superliner carriage. So it's easy for them to get on board. And then also, of course, too, they have their meals brought to them as well. All right, folks, very quickly, I want to talk about our uh, everyday discounts. So uh, for children ages 2 to 12, they receive 50% discount on the rail portion. Seniors, 
Seniors over the age of 65 receive 10% discount on the rail portion, as well as military or active or retired military personnel and their spouses, as well as their dependents, receive 10% discount on the rail portion as well. So any of you who have either uh, have served in our nation's military or know anyone who has served in their nation's military, I just want to say thank you so much on behalf of myself, as well as Amtrak Vacations, Yankee Holidays, and Rail Bookers, for your service. So if you want to share in that questions box below, if you've served in our nation's military, either in our armed forces, uh, like such as the Army, the Navy, Air Force, I would greatly appreciate if you don't mind sharing that below. I do want to thank you again for your nation, uh, for your service. Our upcoming webinars on Tuesday, October 19th, we will continue our American Rail Series Part 2 featuring the Southwest Chiefs. So definitely want to check out uh, for next week. And then also on October 26th, we'll continue on with our American Rail Series, but Part 3 featuring the Coast Starlight. So definitely check those out. Um, some great uh, packages and destinations we'll talk about that connect these two scenic uh, rail lines. But my last question for you all today, so if you don't mind sharing with me in that questions box below, what destinations are you considering for your next rail vacation? Either traveling domestically or to our national parks, maybe you're looking to do a rail experience, or maybe you're looking to travel elsewhere that we can help out with with rail bookers. If you don't mind sharing with me in that questions box below, I'd greatly appreciate that. Either traveling for this year, next year, or even as far out as 2023. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Lindsay. She already booked a a California Zephyr trip. We got people wanting to go to the national parks, taking the California Zephyr from Chicago to San Francisco. Great. More people looking to travel on the California Zephyr for either this year or any new into next year. Great. And again, folks, if there's a destination that wasn't featured in today's webinar, we do a lot of great destinations such as visiting for the fall foliage, or maybe you want to visit some other places such as tropical, like in Florida. Um, but we also service places such as Alaska, Canada, Europe, Asia, Africa, and beyond with rail bookers. So if any of you are looking to go to Alaska for next year, or maybe you want to visit the Northern Lights, we can help out with that. Great, great. We actually got some people going to Alaska or wanting to go to Europe. Great. Wonderful. Well, I just want to say thank you so much everyone for sharing with me your uh, your vacation plans. I just want to take this time also to answer any questions you may have. Uh, so this is the end of the line of our virtual train tour. Please be remembered uh, that uh, if you want to contact us, you can call us at 1-800-268-7252. Our Amtrak vacation staff are at the ready here to help plan your next rail vacation and go over more details such as our maximum flexibility offer, going any dis additional discounts or promotions we have to help save you some money. You can also follow in us at our website at www.amtrackvacations.com. Or if you wish to call us for rail bookers for international or Alaska vacations, you can call us at 1-888-829-3040. Again, that number is 1-888-829-3040. Or you can also check us out at www.railbookers, R-A-I-L-B-O-O-K-E-R-S.com. Again, that's R-A-I-L-B-O-O-K-E-R-S. Or also contact a local travel advisor. They're always there at the ready to help you as well. All right. So I'm going to take this time to answer some questions you may have. Let's see here. Uh, John asks a great question. Can we drink alcohol in coach seats? That's a great question, John. Unfortunately not. However, excuse me. However, you can drink alcohol in your private sleeping accommodation. So if you are upgraded to a roommate or bedroom, what my wife and I did when we traveled on board Amtrak is we had our own little wine and cheese tea tasting in our roommate, brought a couple of bottles of wine, had a little cooler with some cheeses, meats, fruits, and some crackers. And we just had a great time as we're watching the coastline on the, uh, on the, um, on the coast starlight there. So that's a great question. All right. Let's see. Ah, Beverly will ask, looking to do a uh, looking to go experience uh, for the Thanksgiving uh, will be my, my 60th birth. Uh, sorry, it will be for my 60th birthday. I'm closest to San Jose, but can't can get up to Emeryville. Yeah, uh, Beverly, if you want to experience a, uh, a, a California Zephyr trip from San Jose or Emeryville, we can help out with that. Um, again, what I would recommend you to do is give us a call at 1-800-268-7252. We'd love to help plan that for you, either for this year or for next year, okay? 
Big question. Uh, let's see here. Kathleen asked, Wi-Fi in California as ever was on Empire Build last month and was told that Wi-Fi was available and it was not. Uh, great question, Kathleen. There are, I mean, Wi-Fi is technically available on the train. However, there are some locations where it's not available on the, on Amtrak. So just be aware that sometimes Wi-Fi is available on some trains and just sometimes it's not. Um, Again, for the California Zephyr, I would say most times not, just because of the elevation areas it travels through. But great question. All right, let's see here. Let's go to our next great question. Ah. John asks, uh, what bus do you take from Emeryville to downtown San Francisco? That's going to be the Amtrak Thruway bus. So from Emeryville to uh, San Francisco, it's called the Amtrak Thruway bus. And that's something that we take care of after you get off the train in Emeryville. And you just pick it up right there at the station. They'll take you right over across the, the bridge into San Francisco. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's a great question. Lindsay Landis asked, how early should I arrive at the train station? So that's a great, great question. I always recommend arriving at the train station at least, at least an hour prior to departure. That way, if you're checking any luggage, uh, you can check in your luggage as well as relax until the train is called. Uh, for, sleeper class, sorry, for sleeper car passengers, you do get to be able to get priority boarding, as I mentioned before. Um, so usually they start letting um, sleeper car passengers board the plane. Uh, the train. I cannot talk today. I'm so sorry, folks. <laughs> you could board the train usually between 15 to 15 minutes prior to departure. So uh, again, I would recommend at least an hour prior. Uh, Lucia Rogers asks, I thought that this train started in Chicago, not Denver. So yeah, that's a great question, Lucia. Yes, the, the California Zephyr does start in Chicago or and or San Francisco and travels in each either direction, going eastbound to Chicago from San Francisco or westbound from Chicago to San Francisco. However, sometimes our packages do, of course, have people starting their trip in Denver. Again, we can customize it based upon where you're looking to travel from. And as I mentioned before, Amtrak does have over 500 plus stations to choose from, and we can customize it. Uh, making it a uh, round trip or even one way from your hometown. All right, let's see here. I'm going to take one more question. Let's see here. Ah. Marilyn Abbey asked, how would I get from Chicago to Vancouver? I'm assuming you're referring to Vancouver, British Columbia, if I'm not mistaken, Marilyn. Yes. So you can travel from Chicago uh, going on the Empire Builder, heading further west to Seattle. And then from Seattle, uh, right now, the... Uh, the Cascades train is not in operation as of currently. Hopefully, they'll bring that back in 22 uh, for next year. But right now, it's just going to be the Amtrak through a bus that will pick you up from Seattle over into uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Great question. Uh, oh, you know, I'll take one more question. Sorry, Joan Essex Essex asked, uh, is there still a AAA discount? Yes, there are AAA discounts, and that's going to be with your AAA advisor. So if you do have a AAA advisor you'd like to use, uh, they will be, of course, happy to help with that AAA discount, which we do provide for those who work with a AAA uh, travel advisor. Great question. All right, folks, I just want to say thank you so much for taking this time uh, to, uh, you know, attend today's virtual train tour. I want to say thank you so much on behalf of myself, as well as Amtrak Vacations for joining. This is the end of the line, and I hope all of you have a wonderful and train-tastic day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.